Hello. How are you all? Great. I love that room that you're in. I love that uh, big drawing, painting on the back wall. That's wonderful. Wow. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. So, you guys know all about Peace Day, don't you? Yes, we know about Peace Day. Oh, yeah. And I think it's incredible what you've been doing, trying to get the, getting the day recognised by Massachusetts. Fantastic. Well done. So, who's got a question then? Do you guys have some questions for me? We're just having a little technical difficulty. Stay, stay. Okay, no problem. Okay. Hey, give us one second. We should be all set. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, we're good. Okay, good, good. Well, you know, I just wanted to say that I think it's amazing um, that uh, you've gone to the Civic Club and you had a meeting at the Town Hall presenting the case to have Peace Day recognised. Congratulations on all of that amazing work. Well done. Great, so um, who has a question? Go ahead, Dylan has a question. Great, hello Dylan. Hello, my name is Dylan. Um, what made you start thinking about Peace Day? What made me start thinking about Peace Day? Yeah, what made you think that you wanted to start a National Peace Day? Well, I, you know, 17 years ago, I wanted to make a film about peace. And um, I wanted to ask uh, people all over the world um, how they were making sense of some of the things that were going on. You know, I didn't understand why we had some wars and why sometimes there was bullying in schools or why things might be difficult at home sometimes. And I wanted to make a film about peace and talk about some of those things. And then I realized there was no day of peace. And that's when I had the idea that I thought, okay, well, I'll make a documentary about trying to create the first ever day of ceasefire and nonviolence with a fixed calendar date. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm very pleased that, you know, we had that idea. And, you know, after years of traveling the world, we saw that it was a great success. So those are the main reasons, you know, wanting to make a film about peace and talk about the issues of peace. And that's how it all began. Thank you. Um, this is Michelle. I prepared a um, uh, speech for you guys. All right? Okay, great. Uh, many people just don't like either a country, a state, or just one simple person. Many people take their hate too far. Those people were hurt other people, or worse, killed them. Many people hate our country, for its religion, its way of life, even its people. Those people can be anyone. It can be someone in this country or someone in another country. It can even be someone in this very state. Even when everything in the world seems hopeless, there are some people who fight against it. People who, will, who believe every, everyone in the world can live in peace and harmony. Those people are all fighting for the same thing all the other victims of terrorism are or were fighting for. We will all keep fighting, and if it does not stop, we will keep fighting till the day there is nothing to fight for. That day will be peace one day. <laughs> well, that's a fantastic speech and uh, very passionately delivered. Um, it's not easy to, to make speeches in front of lots of people. So congratulations for the great writing and the way that you delivered it. I think we have a, a future president on our hands. <laughs> so that's great. Thank you very much for your thoughts. And I agree with you. 
you know, we, we must always work towards, uh, you know, creating a more peaceful world. And, and as you say, doing everything that we can to get the people of America and the people of the world to stand united as one on the 21st of September. And I know that you guys in your school are doing an amazing job at making that happen, you know, by speaking, uh, you know, to the civic, you know, through the civic club. So congratulations on that. And great, great speech. Thank you very much for your words. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have another question for you. Okay, great. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, how do you feel about traveling? How do I feel about traveling? Well, you know what? I, um, yeah, I kind of like traveling. Um, you know, I've been to probably over 120 countries in the last uh, 17 years. Um, so as you can imagine, I've spent a lot of my time, you know, uh, you know, on the road, in vehicles, in planes, trains, um, you know, you name it. And I've sort of traveled in it. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, it's always a very exciting, um, you know, to journey, to, to, to make your way to a particular destination to meet incredible people from other cultures. You know, the academics uh, say that the key to humanity's survival is a word called intercultural cooperation. It's a word that you should remember, it's a word that you should talk about with your teachers, intercultural cooperation um, being the key to humanity's survival. So understanding each other's cultures, understanding each other's religions, understanding each other's way of life, views, uh, preferences, etc. This is, um, this isn't a really important thing for us to, to do. Um, and, uh, obviously I do a lot of that and, uh, it's given me a really great perspective on actually the similarities between everybody in the world. And, and the most important similarity that I've noticed is that everybody wants peace. Um, and uh, that gives me real hope that actually, you know, we can live in a peaceful and sustainable world. And I think it's also really important, you know, the traveling has taught me that uh, actually, you know, most of the violence that happens today is going to happen in our homes, communities, schools and places of work. About 97 percent, in fact, and only about 3 percent of the violence that happens today is going to happen in an area of conflict and through terrorism. So. We all have a really important role to play in creating a more peaceful and sustainable world. And I know that in your schools that you can do a great deal to make sure that there's nobody who's being left out in the playground and that when you walk down the corridor and if you see somebody unhappy, you know, reach out to them. You know, we all, every single person in that room cares about peace. And peace starts at school and peace starts at home. So you can practice that and look out for your fellow friends and your family members, you know, and make sure everyone's OK, because if we all did that all over the world, then the world would be a very, very different place. Um, so I love traveling. And, uh, you know, when I travel, you know, I, you know, I make sure that I've got some good books with me and uh, maybe something on my iPad, you know, some magazines. And, you know, I, I kind of try to rest as much as I possible on the planes you know, and sleep as, as much as I can so that when I arrive, you know, I feel rested and ready to go because, you know, often I land and then, you know, I could be straight into, you know, an important meeting. So, you know, I've got used to having a sort of a routine and a regime, you know, that, uh, that when I arrive, you know, I can, uh, you know, I can, you know, talk um, as eloquently as uh, the young man who just delivered his speech. But that's a great question. And thank you very much. Actually, do you know what? I don't think anybody's ever asked me that question. And I've, I've been asked a lot of questions over the last 17 years, so good for you. Are you Sorry? Are you Do I get nervous when? When you're traveling. No, I don't. I don't get nervous. You know, traveling is, uh, you know, flying in planes is a very safe way to travel. And, um, you know, so I don't, I don't get nervous at all. Um, I, um, you know, it's important. It's a part of my job. I mean, if I'm in a difficult place in the world, which, 
you know, may well be an area of conflict, then of course you have to take that very seriously and observe certain rules to make sure that everybody is safe. But uh, no, I don't get nervous, you know. I think you, you, you need to imagine it like somebody who climbs a mountain. You know, these amazing mountains like Yosemite, you know, and uh, Half Dome, I think, is in Yosemite. You have some incredible mountains in America. And when you see those, um, those amazing climbers, you know, go up, you know, incredible distances, they, they, there's a real risk uh, that they could, of course, fall. But a climber doesn't think about the risk. The climber thinks about each grip. And I think that that's, uh, that's a good analogy for life. That, you know, when you do things, you shouldn't really necessarily think about the end result or the destination. You know, you should think about the moment. So when you're running a race or you're doing an exam or doing something at school, you know, stay focused, stay in the moment and do your best. And as long as you do your best, then, you know, the end result is the end result, you know. Um, so I think it's a, it's a good lesson in life. Just stay focused. Keep breathing and do your best, and uh, that's always going to be a great thing. You've traveled through the self school with the backdrop of a world that has been continually assaulted with random acts of violence. The reason why we started um, with the Peace Day was um, the marathon bombing mainly. Ever since that happened, we've been um, trying to spread peace around the world. And um, the Martin Richard Foundation and Martin Richard's parents came in and spoke to us about um, peace and um, Martin Richard kindness. And um, Martin Richard's parents, um, his dad, he said that kindness is not a choice. It's, uh, it's a necessity. And um, during Christmas time, we were wrapping presents for Hasbro. And um, we were wrapping gifts for the children who wanted presents. Uh, and they weren't able to get them. So when we were wrapping them, after we were done, uh, we were told to go back home and watch the news. But when we got back home, we saw the San Bernardino shooting and the other assaults that have happened through our time. So we decided that we needed to spread the word of peace and that's why we decided to do, do what we're doing. Well, well, well done. And, um, you know, for doing what you're doing. And I know that you spoke to the state senator, John Keenan, didn't you? And, um, and he, was, he was excited at the idea, was he, of institutionalizing the day in Massachusetts? Well, that's fantastic. And I can tell you that I bet he was inspired by you and your colleagues, your, stu your fellow students. You know, in many ways, the most important people, you know, who I think can make peace happen in this world are young people like yourselves. You shouldn't underestimate, and I'm sure you don't. Um, the important role that you play in making the adults of our world, you know, realize that peace is incredibly important to us. And already I can tell with only spending a few minutes with you, um, you know, that this is a school, Holbrook School um, is a school that is clearly incredibly committed to peace. And, um, you know, I, I, I congratulate you all and particularly your teachers you know, for leading you down this path and this journey of uh, doing something really incredible for humanity, which is to raise awareness of this day. So why don't we give a good round of applause for all your teachers and your fellow students. Well done. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Very important. Good luck. Oh, hello, it's the president. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, my name is uh, Zachary Holbrook. Yep. And, um, well, another, the, terrorism is affecting not only around the world, it's affecting our home, it's affecting the United States. It's now starting to uh, uh, come into the United States. It's been uh, Boston closest to us. 
uh, New York, uh, everywhere, name it. So we're not just doing this for the United States, we're doing this for the whole world. Right, well. We're doing this for every single uh, people who represent peace one day want this random acts of violence to stop. I mean, it's awful. It's killing innocent people who don't deserve to die. It's killing children. Yeah. Have yeah. Many, uh, many years ahead of them. Well, well, Zachary, I think, um, Zachary, it's wonderful to see you again um, and hear your thoughts. And I can tell it's very important to you. And, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful that you're sharing today. It's inspiring me. And I'm sure it's inspiring, you know, those around you. Um, I, I, I am as concerned as you are, Zachary. It means a great deal to me that we um, change things. And I fully acknowledge what you've just said, that this isn't just about spreading the word in America. It's about spreading the world, spreading the word throughout the world. And I hope today that we can tweet and we can Facebook and we can Instagram and we can uh, make sure that this film is seen and you can do the same. And I'm sure that those who see it and hear the words of you and your fellow students will be inspired you know, to become involved themselves. Um, you know, I think, Zachary, it's really important when we talk about terrorism and war that we keep remembering also um, that interesting uh, statistic I gave you, which is around 95%, 97% of the violence that happens today happens in our homes, communities, schools, and places of work, whichever country in the world we live in. So it, it's amazing, Zachary, how we can have a real impact on those around us. And if everyone was talking with as much passion as you are, then I really truly believe the world would be a very different place. So, you know, there is a saying, peace starts at home. And many people, including Mother Teresa, have said it. And I think that, you know, we've got to make sure that in our homes and in our schools and in our communities, you know, that these, these things are being discussed and talked about. And I know that the incredible work that your school, Holbrook School, is doing to make sure that people in Massachusetts know about this day is going to have a real impact on people's lives. And certainly with people like you who are very passionate about this, then I think the, you know, the world in the future will be a different place. So thank you for sharing your thoughts again, Zachary. Thank you. Wow. Wow, right, that's fantastic. Let me take a picture of this. Oh my god. And I'll put it on um I'll put it on Instagram in a minute. Okay. Hang on then, let me get my camera ready. Oh, there's a problem with my camera. All right, here we go. Right, so, okay, get your pictures up a little bit higher. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. There, I see your faces. Okay, here we go. Okay, listen, I'll put that on Instagram and Twitter, all right, after this. If, you, if your teachers want me to. Okay, thank you. Well, well done. Listen, let me read these. So on one side, we've got bulldogs build bridges. So who are the bulldogs? We are. Oh, like, well, the schools, but like, go bulldogs, go. The bulldogs, great. So towards peace one day, and then lift yours a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Gilly. That's great. Well, thank you. It's That's amazing. Well done on that one. And then the other one is bulldogs build peace. We've got a... A footprint there of a dog, and we got the Eiffel Tower, the peace sign, okay, and the world, and what is it saying there? Wow. Oh, it says civics group, finish line, and the Oh, they are amazing. And what do you do? Put those up in the in the school? Yes. Great. We posters all over the school and, um, about letting kids know that bulldogs build bridges, so you should... Build a bridge, not tear a bridge down, or burn your bridge with your friends. Great. Well, that's a great message. A great message. And um, us three girls, Ruby, um, Bridget, and Kayla, 
and we are writing a book about peace involving the animals. Wow. And it's about a bulldog of the mascot and these four chickens, and they're going to help build a bridge to save the people on the other side of the bridge. Fantastic. And at the end, they're all going to come together. Oh, great. Well, when you get your book ready and you're going to you, you know, go publish it, you know, just let me know. We'll send some tweets out about it. All right. All right. Well done, guys. Great work. All right. I'm Kayla, and um, I wanted to tell you that we got bracelets. We raised money to buy these bracelets. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we raised money by running a mini marathon around the school in honor of the Boston Marathon. Wow. Wow. And it says hashtag choose kindness, and then on the other side, it says bulldogs build bridges. Wow, great. Well, well done for running that marathon and raising that money. Um, and I'm sure that's going to go to, you know, helping those all involved in that marathon. So well done on that. Great work. And we gave it to every um, elementary student. And we also gave one to the second. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. You look very proud. And we're going to mail one to you. Are you going to mail one to me? Awesome, awesome, that's great. Thanks a lot. Well, I'll look forward to wearing that. Um, and thank you very much. And congratulations on that mini marathon. Amazing commitment to peace. Wow. And we have um, Ben who wants to um, talk to you about the message. You have to step back a little bit. That's great. Yeah. The uh, peace walk day. Yeah. I, I try to be peaceful as much as possible, and and I don't uh, I don't want war or terrorism. It's awful. Yeah. What's okay? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, and what's your name? Vin. Vin? Well, Vin, thanks a lot for your thoughts. And Vin, I'm the same as you, and I don't, you know, I don't want those things to happen. And I think it's great that you put that hashtag together and that you're doing everything that you can to send a message out. And, uh, you know, we're a team here, and you've got a great team of friends around you. And you keep doing everything that you can, Vin. And thank you for standing up in front of everybody and saying those things so beautifully. So lovely to meet you, Vin. Good luck. So we really wanted to thank you for um, talking with us. It means a lot. I can't see you. Ah, there you are. That you took the time to talk with everyone today. They, they're thrilled that they actually get this opportunity to speak with you. Uh, what's your name? I'm Mrs. Flaher. Hello. Well, it's lovely to meet you. And I, you know, I always know, um, and that's why it's so nice to see you, that, uh, you know, these great things that are coming out of this school and the amazing words that the young people are saying, you know, always have somebody, you know, who is obviously clearly very committed to peace. So just to, to acknowledge you for the great work that you're doing, you know, you young people, you're very lucky to have such incredible teachers who are really inspiring you to do this work. So let's give another round of applause to the teachers. Great. Well, I just want to say, you know, I'm really, you know, I've, I've been very moved today. It's, uh, it's been amazing to hear all the words that you've all said. I think it's incredible that you reached out to uh, the Senator John F. Keenan um, and that you're going to you know, make sure that the, the, the people of Massachusetts know about this day. As you know, it's America's Day of Peace, and I worked with uh, Senator John Ke Kerry a long time ago. The 21st of September is America's Day of Peace. It's also the world's day of peace. 
and you are clearly incredible, inspirational global citizens. So the best of luck on your journey. Have a wonderful peace day, the 21st of September. It's just been amazing talking to you and thank you very much. All right. Go Bulldogs. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.